Um, I'm Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens. Today's video is a comparison, so I'm not going to be doing a review of either pen model. I'm just going to be showing you the differences in these two nibs. So the pens that we are working with is the Platinum 3776 Century and the Sailor Pro Gear. And the nibs are a double broad, also called a coarse and the zoom nib. So this is a 14 karat gold nib, this is a 21 karat gold nib, and this has been requested quite a few times because people are interested in the differences between the two nibs and how they perform. So I've got, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna do some writing samples and explain to you what I'm experiencing as it goes, and then we will come back at the end to do a quick wrap up. First up, the Platinum 3776 Coarse Nib. Uh, it's also called the Double Broad. It's just labeled as a Coarse. So if you order this, which is what I did, as, as a Double Broad, um, I got a Coarse Nib. So it's a very big blob of round tipping. And the Sailor Pro Gear Zoom Nib is also a very big blob of round tipping. Now, both of these are unmodified. And the interesting thing is the Pro Gear has a bit more of a triangular shape, whereas the, you can, you can kind of see that on the tipping there, um, whereas the Double Broad is just a round point. So if we look at both of them, the Double Broad, or sorry, the Coarse, I'm, I'm probably gonna mix those up, so you'll just, I'm using them interchangeably, but because it's called Coarse, I'm gonna call it Coarse. Um, the Coarse Nib is, rounder and if you look at the tips the zoom nib on the right looks like it's got a flat spot and from the bottom the zoom still has that bit of a triangular shape the idea of the zoom nib is as you change your angle of writing so from high to low you get a thinner line to a thicker line Let's start with the Platinum 3776. Okay, so this is the, I'm gonna just write here, double broad slash so what I mean is the nib is labeled with a C for coarse, but when you order this from, I got mine from Panchale when I ordered it, I ordered a double broad. And just in case you're interested, the place, the ink is rose. Burgundy. Okay, let's do the the sailor so that we're at the same stage for both. So sailor pro gear. Um, this is the zoom, and this is the full size sailor, so it's a twenty one carat pro gear. And if you went for the slim, it would be a fourteen carat. But I just want to compare the two sizes because they're closer in nib size. Sorry, I got distracted and I had to pause because there was a cat outside. Okay, but I'm back. Okay, so the ink for this one is Louis Vuitton. Um, oh, Odessia. Okay, so now we are on the same page, and I'm going to give you prices for, like, the base model of both pens. So if you get, like, the, you know, special editions, of course they're going to be more expensive, but let's go with the base prices. So the street price for the 3776 in the U.S. is, wait, let me, let me just double check, um... Okay, one fifty nine 
54 US dollars. And I will put links below so you can check these out if you're interested. And, okay, sorry. The Pro Gear street price is 272. So it is significantly higher. So let's have a look at how these nibs compare. First, we're gonna do some wetness. I know they're two different inks. It's really not that big a deal. So I would say the Pro Gear Zoom Nib is wetter. Then if we do, let's do some differences. So I'm, you're not gonna see what I'm doing right now because my hand is blocking, um, but you'll see. So I'm doing a very high angle so you can see what the lines look like. Okay, so it's quite thin. Hello, jello. Bananas. Now the coarse nib is not marketed as a nib that will, like it's supposed to change as you write, but just because of the shape of the tipping, it happens to work that way. Okay, so let's do like a medium angle. So you can already see the line is getting bigger, thicker. Then let's just do hello, jello. Bananas. And let's do the lowest angle, which just happens to be the sweet spot of the nib, which is where the tipping is, I think, perfectly um, polished for. And this is the thickest lines possible from this particular nib shape. So I would say we're going from like a... In, in, um, like a, a medium to a broad to a double broad. So this is a completely <laughs> arbitrary system that I've come up with, but just comparing them, right? So it's a coarse nib, it's supposed to be a double broad. This is the double broad capacity. Now let's do the same thing with the Pro Gear. So we're gonna start with the zoom nib at the same high angle. Okay, and then hello, jello, bananas. Now the thing is, I think this one actually starts out quite fine. Then if we go to the middle angle, Hello, bananas. Um, I think this is a, I would say a broad to double broad. And then last but not least, the lowest angle. I'm just gonna hold my page down. And then, hello. Jello bananas. So yeah, this is definitely a double broad. So this is probably more of a broad. Let me bring this up a little closer. So you can see the writing. Okay, now we have seen that. Let's go to just like some I'm gonna tear that out because it's still wet. Let's just do a bit of normal writing where I'm writing with these in the angle and just the fashion that I would just write normally. Like, so I'm not demonstrating the nib performance or anything. Um, okay, so. So there's that, and then let's just do the zoom nib. Um, 
I'm just gonna put 21 carat because this is the full size, just to remind us. Again, this one's definitely wetter. Now, what I think is important to point out is I feel that these, both of these nibs perform best when they're written at, like, straight on the page, like, at this angle, instead of um, at a blue oblique, which is what I was doing just now, just, um, and I read the, I was right, ugh, God, the reason I was writing at the, at that angle was so you could see what I was doing, but if we change it to this way, you really bring out the size and wetness of the nib. And so when I'm using nibs like this, this is typically how I'm writing with them. So that's one option, but this is how I usually use them. Um, They're both firm nibs, so don't expect really line variation aside from its normal shape. Let's do the same thing with the zoom nib. Okay, so writing at the same angle at the, at the page. Sorry, I've had a lot of coffee. <laughs> so my my parts are not matching up. So again, firm nibs, not meant to apply pressure to them. Glancing at this, they're pretty similar. And if you are planning to just, like if you're a writer who only writes at one angle, you could just honestly like get away with the coarse nib. Now the only other difference that I wanna point out, I'm gonna rip that out too, is the feedback. So, ooh, a quick wrap up. That was a horrible noise. It's a Friday. Is it Friday? No, it's Thursday. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, <laughs> so pricing, first of all, let's pretend these are both base models. This one is, this one's a special edition. And if you're looking at the base model, so that's just like the regular colorways, not a limited or special edition, you're looking at 154 US versus 272 US. You can also get a Sailor Pro Gear Slim instead of the full size, and um, you're gonna have a much smaller nib. So the reason I picked the 21 karat nib is so that the sizes match up. The writing experience on the Pro Gear Slim is very similar to the Pro Gear full size. The pen is smaller, the nib is smaller. Um, I wanted to do the full size because I feel the nib sizes compare more. Now, is the Pro Gear Zoom Nib worth 272 over the Double Broad Coarse Nib, which is 150? It's up to you. Um, personally, I love Sailor pens, and I'm okay with 
paying that large difference so that I could have a sailor pen. And usually I buy my sailors, um, usually they're special editions because I just like the special editions, and I pick a zoom nib. So for me, that combination is worth it. Would I buy a regular lineup sailor, like just the black and gold or something, with a zoom nib for 272 when I can get this for 154? Probably not. I just think it's worth it for the special editions. So if you're looking for the best bang for your buck and you want a nice big nib, the Platinum Coarse Nib, or Double Broad, is a great option. And if you even wanted, you could have it sent to a Nibmeister for like an extra $20, $30, have them just perfect it for you. Um, there's no issues with either of these nibs. Neither of these nibs have been Nibmeistered, but you could do that and you could just tell them, you know, just to make sure the whole nib is like well polished so that you can write on any angle because as you saw, the lowest angle is the wettest for the double broad. Um, really the only difference between the two, other than the price, is I found in general, the zoom nibs are much wetter and ink flow is more consistent. And not that the platinum does not run dry, it's just that the zoom is wetter and I love a really juicy, wet writing experience. So because of that, because of the differences in the general like pro gear and that I prefer the sailors in terms of their special colors, like this is one of the special ones. This is the Pen Gallery um, Durian Special Edition. Um, I would pick the sailor. But again, if you're looking for the best bang for your buck and you just want a nice big tip, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the Platinum. And I actually have two of these, so, um, and I have a couple of these. If there's something wrong, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much that. And other than that, like I've done individual reviews of these pens, so I will link to those below so you can check those out as well. They are honestly the Sailor Pro Gear and the Platinum 3776 superb pens. Overall, I have several of each because I do a lot of different things and they have different nibs. And I think they're both superb pens, superb pen models, and I really enjoy the writing experiences of both. And that's pretty much it. So we'll wrap this up because it's been pretty long and I, I just wanted to kind of help guide you if you are looking for the difference between the two. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful, safe weekend. And if you have any thoughts, just let me know down below and we'll see you next time. Bye.